for growth, growth, and even more growth. It's a space for positive affirmation and yeah, positive stuff, just positive stuff. Today, what I'm here to share and talk about is follow through. I am a goal-oriented person meaning I make to-do lists every day, I have my goals, I have the things that I want to do. However, all the things on your to-do list does not always get done. How, and when they don't get done, I think the conversation needs to be about what happens next, what's the next step. That's something I struggled with for a really, really long time on how do I follow through on those big projects. Like I have this big idea or I have this big deadline or I have this looming thing that I want to do, but every single day they're small little things that pop up the first thing that you need to do is to flesh out your idea you have this big great idea sit down and flesh it out break it down into bite-sized parts think about what it will take to get it done what materials you need how much time it will take and break it down the next thing is don't put the whole project on your to-do list for one day you need to think about okay how can I work towards this project in day one? How can I work towards this project in day two, day three, day four, so that it all comes together in day five? I think the biggest, biggest thing that continues procrastination is not breaking it down. It's looking at one project, this one thing on your to-do list, and that's not always the case. Sometimes it needs to be broken down. So the first thing is plan it out. The second thing is break it down. And I think the third one is if you don't, finish it today, do it tomorrow. Don't be guilty about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't put it at the end of the list again. Prioritize it, right? Because if you always move something until the end of the next day and then the end of the next day and then the end of the day after that, it won't get done. So when you don't finish something on your list today, you need to look at your list tomorrow and prioritize to make sure that that thing that wasn't completed the day before is a priority, especially if it's important to you to get it done to stay on the timeline. So thing number one, when it comes to big projects or follow through or making sure something gets done, thing number one is to plan it out, be detailed, be thorough. Thing number two is to break it down into bite-sized, time-manageable parts. And then thing number three is to prioritize it if you don't get to it. I'm doing a lot of this. Do, 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 do. Um, <laughs> but those are the things. Those are the things that has been helpful to me. So I just want to share them out. I think this is on my mind now because I have a big project that is coming up and I spent a lot of my break binge-watching some stuff, some good stuff. Um, I binge watched The Oval, I rewatched The Game, um, so that's what I was doing with my time. And now all of a sudden it's like, whoa, you have this big project, you have this impact report due, and you have these a retreat to plan, you have this facilitation to do, and they're not done. And then I had to remind myself, there's a strategy and a way to go through it. So even if you have big daunting things coming in the beginning of the year, Think about how I can get it done and break it down. Step one, step two, step three. Here goes my drop gem for this video. Oprah said you could have it all, but not at the same time. I want to have it all, and I want to have it all at the same time. And I think that time management is key to that, so I'll share more time management tricks and tips. And please share any time management tricks and tips you have that helps you stay on top of living life of working being successful being in school full-time and managing things like this also this is my EJI shirt I got it when I saw Just Mercy Brian Stevenson was there I was really obsessed with it all and it has the best cutest quote on the back well I don't know if you can see it can you see it no Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for still being here. Thanks for being a multifaceted. Thanks for celebrating multifaceted black girl. Um.